In this session, we're going to have a look at forms and subforms. This way, we can have a parent form, which is the outer form here, such as the planets, and have a subform such as moons. So, as we cycle through to a planet, the corresponding moons for that planet appear in the subform. So, this is done through the relationship between the two entities of planets and moons, and we need to start with the table relationship diagram first. So, let's get underway. So, the first thing you need to do when you open up your database is make sure that you enable the content. This way we can make edits to it. You notice that we have two tables. One is called Table Moons and one is called Table Planets. So in here we have all the planets and the corresponding moons. Let's have a look at the relationship by going into the database tools and clicking on the relationships. You can see here that we have Table Planets, Table Moons. We have primary keys that are set. So you can't have two planets with the same name and we can't have two moons with the same name. We notice that the moons have a foreign key called planet name because a planet can have many moons but a particular moon can only belong to one planet and therefore the foreign key is actually in the moons table. We need to create a relationship between these two entities. So to do this first of all make sure you don't have any tables open in the background as this sometimes stops the database from changing its structure. Then click on the primary key of Table Planets and drag that by clicking and dragging across to where the foreign key is and then releasing. So now Access Database is fairly intuitive where it actually already brings up Table Planets and knows the primary key and the Table Moons and the primary key. It also knows there's a one-to-many relationship between the two. One is primary, the other is a foreign key. It has all the same data properties as the primary key but you're allowed to have many of these. So what we would like to do here is enforce the referential integrity and click on create. This has now created a one-to-many relationship. If you get it wrong, you can always right mouse click the link and delete the relationship and then drag it across again and enforce the integrity. Now remember, once you've entered data and you've created your database, you should not be changing these referential integrities. Therefore, when you're designing your database, you need to make sure your one-to-many's are done correctly before you start populating it with data. Now, once we've done this, we can close this off. We now would like to create a form for this. I'm gonna click on the little down arrow here, make sure all access objects are shown. Therefore, when I come into Planets, I'm gonna select that and go to Create, and then I'm gonna click on the Form Wizard. Now, we'd like all the fields to come across, from table planets. If I would like to work on the other one, I can select the other table. And then I want to click on next. We will be working on the columnar layout for the wizard. So click on next for this table. And we need to change the name from TBL planets to FRM, which stands for form. And open the form when it's completed. So this is now created the form for us. We can go through and edit the form, change the fonts, the colors, the titling, everything like that to make it look a lot better. But the next thing we need to do is create the subform because at the moment this only has information about the planets. So I'm just gonna close this and you can actually see that the form has been created here. And now I'm gonna create one for moons. This is a little bit different. So once we enter the wizard again, we're gonna bring everything across by the planet name. So we wanna know the moon name and also the mass of the moon. But we don't want to bring planet name across. This is our link back to the parent field, or the parent form, and, that, and the planet name will be displayed here, therefore we don't need it in the subform. Then we're going to click on next, but we're going to change the view. We're actually going to move down to what's called a data sheet view. This looks much the same as a spreadsheet, it allows you to have multiple objects, and it's a very good view for when you want to do a ordering system to allow you to order many products for a particular invoice. Then we're gonna click on next. Once again, we're gonna change its name, but we're gonna use a different naming convention as well. Rather than just FRM, we're gonna go SFRM, which means subform. So this is gonna be a subform of another form. In this case, it's gonna be the subform of the planets and click on finish. As I said before, it looks much like a spreadsheet. Now to create a form subform, first we need to do is open up the planets form and then go into the edit view of this, or the design view. We can then resize the actual form itself. So I'm just gonna move it up, stretch it out a little bit. And I want some work area on the right. What I'm gonna do is create the subform in this area over here. To do that, all we have to do is grab the other form, bring it across, 
and let it go. Now we have the parent form and the sub form. You'll also notice there's a label here. We can select the label and delete that by and cutting it by going Command X. Also, we want to make sure that the form is linked. To do this, we've got to select the outer boundary of the form, and then you can go to right mouse click and go Properties, and select Data. For a form and subform to work, we need to see these two fields linked together. So we've got the link to the master field and link to the child field. You notice that it's done on planet name. So as the planet name master field comes up, like Earth or Mars, then the subform, the child, will use that to find the information. So it's like a hardwired query. So let's have a look at the result of this. So I'm just going to save this, Command S, and go to the runtime view. We have Earth and you can see Moon. I'm going to click on the next. We go to Jupiter and you can see all the moons of Jupiter. Then we can go to Mars, etc. So you can see that now as the parent form changes, the child form or the subform updates. All you need to do now is go through and edit the two forms so they look more presentable and not created by a wizard. And remember to adjust your navigation to customize your navigation. And I've done a tutorial previously on that if you want to look that up. So I hope you found this tutorial useful on creating forms and subforms.